2670 Summerland Bunkhouse Camper here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And I like Summerlands a lot. They're a very simplified brand, but they're very problem free. This is effectively the uh, little brother of the Springdale family, which is Keystone's most popular uh, you know, series out there. They build and sell more Springdales than anything else from Keystone. This is the exact same shell. It's actually the Summerland by Springdale, if that gives you an idea. It's the exact same shell. It's just kind of stripped down. Kind of think of this like the LS instead of the LT. No power windows, doors, locks. Just the stuff that, you know, a good reliable core to get you there. Now, one thing I love is it has a very large, wide front pass-through storage area. So if you have folding lawn chairs, you can uh, stow those down here. You don't have to go strictly to bag chairs unless you want to. Now, don't let this awning fool you. It looks a lot like a power awning. It is a manual. Um, that, that's one of those things that a lot of people have looked at these and it kind of trips you up. The dead giveaway is if you can see that little um, pull tab in the middle of the awning to roll it out, that's, that's the easiest way to tell. Now, what is great here, this is one of the smallest bunkhouses you can get that still has a full-size super slide up here. Now, this also has 30-pound propane tanks. Generally, in this price point, you're going to find 20-pound tanks, so this has 50% more propane capacity. That's another thing I like about Springdale. You are investing your money in the things that your family is going to use and enjoy every day and not in fluff stuff. Like, you've got big windows here. These, these offer good cross ventilation. These also offer lots of light. So if you're primitive camping, you don't have to burn up your batteries all the time. This still has an outside shower that you can see right here, and it's located properly. It's located in the perfect spot to be able to kind of hose the kids down. This still has oversized downspouts to help cut down on things like black streaks and whatnot to keep your camper looking good. Um, you know, a lot of times people look at the price point of a Summerland and they go, oh, this must be one of those cutthroat cheap ones. It's just simplified. You know, you're not paying for things like power stabilizer jacks. That kind of stuff can add up really quick. This is just everything you need and nothing you don't. Now, in addition to that front pass-through storage, we have a very generous uh, rear uh, pocket down here underneath one of the bunks. And that's one of my favorite parts of this floor plan. It offers tons of storage. Now, this right here, this is going to be for all your outside stuff. Uh, you know, like the kids' toys and bubble machines and all that kind of garbage. That's where you're going to want to put this stuff. These do ride on a wide stance axle. Benefit here is that will help give this, uh, it'll tow a little truer down the road. It'll, it'll tend to stay straight. And this is on a correct track alignment system. Uh, basically, we have the equipment here at Halo, so we can laser sight this with a quick adjustment of that uh, yellow um, octagon you see right there. We can keep this thing running straight so it doesn't offer premature wear and tear on like tires and things like that. Now again, uh, in a budget conscious trailer, things like the fact that your, uh, your stovetop hood vents outside, those are things you normally give up. Now most of the time when you're shopping, unless you've been camping for years, you never even think to ask about that. You take that for granted. Um, you know, they surface mount their speakers outside here. First of all, it has outside speakers. Most things in this price point don't. But secondly, they surface mount them. That means they don't have to drill a big four inch hole in the wall to have a flush mount speaker. They only have to drill a half inch hole just enough to run a wire so there's a, you know, a, a better chance of preventing any sort of failure. Now I wanna mention, there may be some sort of options or upgrades on this, like for instance, this uh, video, this unit here is in the Morel color scheme. That's a, a darker leatherette type sofa with some nicely accented fabrics. Not every single 2670 we have is going to look exactly like this one. This is here just to really kind of be educational. So always double check our MSRP sheet. Always feel free to call to make sure we're having in stock the exact trailer you're looking for. I don't want anyone to drive from four hours away and be confused on what they're getting. This looks like a big pull-out sleeper sofa. It is not, but it is far more comfortable than most of the cheap sofas you get from most manufacturers. Um, notice that all of your windows have not only valences, but some nice lambrequins, some side treatments here for privacy purposes. I've kind of got the shades pulling a little bit so it'll let in some light, but still give you some privacy. I do have the lights turned on inside here. You can see it's very bright, very comfortable, even on a dreary overcast day. I'm sure you notice the snow outside. The weather's not awesome right now. Um, in this price point, central air is not normally found. This does have central AC. That's a big deal, guys. Even though it's the same power of air conditioner. The fact that this is centralized means it will cool the entire unit equally instead of just here in the kitchen. Because you know what's not here in the kitchen? Everywhere people sleep. The bunks, the bed, they're not here in the kitchen. So at night, which is one third of your day, 
you don't care about the kitchen being cold. You care about your bed being cool. That's what this camper takes care of. Now, the big U-dinette here is awesome for a couple reasons. Obviously, you know, you can, you can sit a lot of people here. If you get a couple little stools and sit on this side, you can easily get, you know, comfortably six, maybe more people around here. Good for big families. Secondly, folds down into a seven-foot sleeper. So if you need extra, extra sleeping space that the bunks aren't going to offer, this will take care of you. Now, again, Summerland is all about everything you need and nothing you don't. Your top kitchen cabinet doors are the ones that get the most abuse. So they make them all hardwood, not just a hardwood style, but a hardwood insert because kids do this with the doors. Kids don't open it and carefully close it. No, kids pound on these things. These doors are made to last. Not to mention, these cabinets are extra deep. They have good storage in them. A lot of uh, budget conscious campers don't have good size storage. Notice power outlets right next to the door. Perfect for charging cell phones. Notice we have extra power outlets over here in the kitchen, and they actually give you space to like, if you're you're uh, flipping something here, you know, most people are right-handed. I'm right-handed, but I only have my left hand available doing this video. Most people will flip, you know, a burger with a spatula and set your uh, spatula over here. They actually give you the space to do that. You think, yeah, so? Don't most campers? No, no they don't. And then extra space also gives you some nice uh, drawer space over here. A lot of budget conscious campers don't even have kitchen drawers. I love this big sink. You could bathe a baby in here if you need to, this thing's so big. Um, now what's cool is because this is so big, if you are cooking for the family, you can actually clean big pots and pans in here. It's not just for show, it is for using. Um, the twin bunks back here, your upper bunk, rated at um, industry leading 300 pounds. And there are some manufacturers that'll match that, but I've seen some that are uh, 152, 250. And there's nothing wrong with it like a 250 bunk, but 300 gives you an idea of how this is built. They expect this thing to hold up and maintain. Now you're asking, well, how do they do that? Look at the thickness of this joining wall right here. Most manufacturers only have about a one or one and a half inch wall. They have a full two and a half inch wall right here. That extra structure makes the difference. That's one of the reasons this thing is so much more problem free. We have very low warranty instance of Summerlands because they're built like a rock. They don't have power windows, doors, locks. They don't need it. They don't come back for service. You know, that's that's the question people always ask me. Well, who, who should buy a Summerland? If you're a first timer, you don't know what you need. You don't necessarily want to go absolutely all in. This is perfect because it has the slide, which trust me, you're going to want. Because if you don't get the one with the slide, you're going to come back in a year. And then you're not going to be in an equity situation. You're going to want to trade this thing in. Um, you know, that's, and, and you'll you'll probably do it, but you're always you're going to be married to that thing after that, you know. Um, and notice this has shower wall panels around. A lot of campers in this class don't have that. You only have the wall border. If you don't have this protective wall surround, any of the water that sprays off your body in the shower could water damage your own panels. You don't even have to have a leak. You could water damage it. Also, budget conscious trailer, porcelain stool. Do the wedding ring test. It works every time. Um, so what I was saying there, you know, who is uh, the appropriate person to take home a summer lamb? Uh, casual campers, people who aren't going to spend, you know, 150 days a year in here, you don't necessarily need all that extra fancy stuff. Um, another good option, if you're looking for used travel trailers and you've just been disgusted with what you find out there, a lot of people are shocked to learn that uh, you can get better financing a lot of times on new campers as opposed to used campers. So, uh, you can um, get take home a Summerland at an equal or sometimes lesser payment than a used camper. This is also Bluetooth enabled. I pulled that out to show you. So the stereo here, you can hook your phone up to it and have some good entertainment. Um, TV is generally not included with the Summerland. What we found is that at this price point, it's cheaper actually to just go to Walmart or Target and throw a TV in yourself aftermarket. It's easier. Everyone goes home happy. Now, a cool thing I want to point out here in the bedroom is both sides of the bed have power outlets. They have stands. The outlets are next to your head. It's CPAP central. If you've got an alarm clock, you got a cell phone you want to charge, it's in the perfect place for it. And that's, that's what I like about these. This is budget conscious. That doesn't mean that it is feature light. This is still feature heavy. This is still very intelligently designed. This is a great camper. And I think that's why we've sold so many. I think that's why people have been so happy with these. Um, you know, learn a little bit more. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hey, RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping, everyone.